In Division 5, quite a clash at Spartan Stadium tonight as two-time defending state champs Coldwater faces off against undefeated Liberty Benton. Neither team is strangers to the playoffs. In fact, two years ago, the Cavs beat the Eagles 38 to nothing. On paper, two teams are quite evenly matched as well. Both are battle-tested. Tonight's contest will mark the ninth game this season against playoff teams for both programs. See this one tonight at 11 on WOSN. But for now, let's get to those highlights. Spartan Stadium packed. That's just the cold water side. Eagles fans packed in the opposite side as well. First quarter, Liberty Benton with the ball first. Nathan Kraft on the keeper, gain of eight on the play. What an opening drive by the Eagles. Chewed up 10-03 of the first quarter. All running plays capped off by Austin Combs punching it in. 7-0 LB. Coldwater offense finally on the field, and it didn't take them long to equalize. Second play, hoying to Shane Hare. That's Craig Shane Hare, 51 yards for the score. We're tied at seven. Liberty Benton looking to regain the lead. Hand off to Austin Combs, the senior, doing what he does best into the secondary, out across midfield. Huge gain for Combs. Same drive, fourth and four. Eagles going for it. Nathan Kraft connects with Mason Rose on the quick strike. Later, fourth down again and going for it. Kraft wants to pass, has to pull it down and try and run, but he's met by five Cavaliers. Mitch Clooney and Jake Smith made first contact turnover on downs. So Brody Hoyne rolling to his left. He wants to throw, decides to pull it down and take off the other way. Watch this, sprinting to the far side, juking defenders. He's got some space now. So fun to watch him run. Kraft catches up with him at the 12-yard line. Third and 10 now from the 12. Hoyne to Shane Hare again. He's tackled at the one. Ball comes out, but the ground caused the fumble. So it's first and goal now. Hoyne keeps it himself, somersaults into the end zone. Liberty Benton had the ball for over 18 minutes in the first half, but the Cavs still led 14 to seven at the break, and they added two more scores in the second half to win 28 to seven. It was a physical game, and the Cavs capture yet another regional title. That was a battle. We knew they were a big and physical team, and we said it all week if they could hog the clock, which I think we only had 15 plays the whole first half. Unfortunately, uh, we got a couple scores, but you know, the, the hard-nosed, well-coached team that, that they do what they do, and they, 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 they did it well, and fortunately, uh, the defense kind of adjusted after those first couple drives. And We just played cool out of football, you know. We stepped up in the second half. We made our adjustments that we needed to make in the locker room. Um, we just did what we needed to do to win the football game. There's no better feeling. Um, I experienced it when I was younger, but now being a senior, it's just, it's even more incredible. So taking a look at the bracket, Coldwater will score off against Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. Familiar foe there, Bishop Hartley taking on Canton Central Catholic in the other state semifinal in Division 5.